<laughs> oh man oh man what's happening youtube welcome back to my channel this your boy hoodie from the hood aka your friend from that big old end hey look you already know the the, the usual man if you want to go ahead and subscribe subscribe like follow me on ig whatever um let me respond to somebody in my comments about what i said yesterday about following me and i may or may not follow you back he was like you sound like a girl <laughs> you he, you i'm telling y'all to follow me and i may or may not follow y'all back well a lot of y'all be having fake accounts on me and y'all be talking to me and I go click on your profile and it just be a bunch of weird stuff. And I'd be like, this ain't even a real person. That's what I mean by that. Yes, I can't follow everybody back because I be missing stuff and I just don't be looking that much at how many people follow me. So sometimes when people holler at me and I click and I see like, all right, for sure, you support the channel, I'll follow them back. That's what I meant by that, homie. A lot of y'all be coming with fake IGs just like y'all come with fake YouTube accounts. So. Hey, common sense ain't that common. Now, as you could tell from the title, man. Yes, man. Your boy responded to me, homie. I was going to leave it alone. Um, let me back up and tell you how we got here in the first place. Um, I made a video about China Mac versus Milk. They kind of was having some type of little back and forth. Um, I pointed out what Milk said about China Mac and what China Mac said about Milk. Um, I kind of agreed with some of the things that milk, I mean, that China Mac said about milk and then his little milky ways came in my comments and started barking. So then I made another video responding to them. I made it clear several times. I do not have a problem with you, milk seven foe. do your thing. But I mean, you do reactions all the time and you, you know, point out the Gilligan activities, as you like to say that other people do. So I've just told the Milky Way is about the stuff that I feel like you do that's real Gilligan-ish. So now this dude jumps in my comments. Uh, they all still there. Um, and it's definitely him. He jumping in my comments talking crazy this morning. Um, I go check my notifications like I always do. Go respond to people. And I see this guy right there talking wet. Um, <laughs> he didn't make a video about it uh, yet. Um, and he probably shouldn't. You ain't got no win over here, homie. Anything that you didn't did in the past and you didn't got you ain't got no win over here, homie. It's not going to happen for you. Um, so he basically tried to say that. Uh, well, the all right. The main reason why I responded is because forget whatever he said about me. Y'all know how I feel about my city. So when you call me a off brand San Diego crip, uh, you're insinuating that we knockoffs and we fraudulent. We not real. And that's not just how you feel about the Crips. That's got to be how you feel about the Damus, the essays, my city as a whole. Everybody know I don't play about that. So once you incorporate my city into something that has something to do with an issue that you have with me. So anybody who rock with Milk 74 from San Diego, uh, it's in the comments. It's right there. He, he and, and I think somebody DM me from another account uh, on IG that it said milk seven four. I don't know if that was really his page. It looked like a second page, but it had the Gilligan Slayer in the, uh, in the, in the, in the link, uh, in the bio up there. So I don't know if that's his second IG, but, um, yeah, as far as me being an off brand San Diego crip, like, come on, bro. Uh, your heart is G won't say that to a nigga from San Diego. And it ain't because they scared or they busters or then it's just, come on, homie, real recognize real, you know what I'm saying? And and they know it's real niggas uh, from San Diego that had been on them yards and been on YA and stomped down with the business that had been back to back in riots with them. You know what I'm saying? So they wouldn't even say nothing like that. Like I said, real recognize real and you look real unfamiliar. That's all I'm saying, homie. Um, my hood been around shit probably longer than some of them. Not all of them. Some of them Hoover sets. Yeah, the 40s been around 1974 for show, for show, homie. So ain't nothing off brand about us. And I'm talking about San Diego. Uh, ain't nothing off brand about us, homie, about my city as a whole. But you wouldn't know that because you ain't been nowhere besides your hood and downtown on your fucking balcony. 
You a calcony criminal, fucking kitchen criminal. Gonna start a beef with the kitchen crips because you a kitchen criminal, you and your girl. But anyways, um, so cuz basically start running his mouth talking about that, talking about, oh, this dude supposed to be active. He a YouTube, active YouTuber. First of all, when have I ever said that I was active? When have I ever said I was not active? Homie, I'm just me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 34 years old. Um, as far as me standing on the corner and getting money, because that's what he said. Oh, he, he would be on the block getting money. Like, bro, what does it have to do with being active? You know how many people is on the block getting money that ain't active? You know how many people that's active and they sliding across town that don't get no money? Like, I don't know. I, I don't I don't know what you're talking about, homie. Then you want to call me a broke Gilligan. Uh, you want to say that I'm, I'm, I'm cleaning kitchen floors because, you know, I work in a restaurant. I know you. You're probably watching videos, trying to do your little homework so you can strike back. Like I said, you ain't got no win over here. You should probably stop. Um, then you work in a restaurant. Now, all of a sudden, that's beneath you. I don't clean kitchen floors. We got a whole crew that come in there when we close in the middle of the night and they clean it up for us. We don't we don't even clean up our floors. So once again, some more inconsistencies. Like I said, you worked in a restaurant. You always talk about how you learned and, and met people and you speak highly of your experience in a restaurant. But you want to try to knock me because I work in a restaurant. Yes, I'm on my way to work today. Yeah, I got to go to work, homie. So. That's why I look like this. But all that broke Gilligan and all this. Come on, homie. First of all, I'm too charismatic and too articulate for you to win any type of verbal battle with. You definitely can't see me from the shoulders. But we ain't even going to take it there because it ain't even that serious. Like I said, homie, um, you come on, homie. You be over there sounding like Dr. Seuss struggling to put sentences together, homie. You, you, you probably can impress them other people, homie, but you can't impress somebody like me. And I do watch some of your videos, homie. As a nigga that's considered an op to you, I watch some of your videos. I think they are entertaining. I gave you your props. Nigga, do your research, homie. I just did a video not too long ago about when you said you inspire other LA YouTubers. I ain't say nothing bad about you. I did a video last year was it last year or it might have been 2021 when uh i said i agree with you when you was talking about how c-mac was talking to that kid fat hood and you have people in my comments like oh nigga you ain't no neighborhood agreeing with him so bro it's an unbiased opinion but when i say something about you i gotta be hating i gotta be an op that makes no sense homie i got niggas well one nigga so far from the other side who's my actual not him specifically but his hood is actual immediate ops to me he's on my channel he was supposed to bring another person on the channel i'm in talks with other people from hoods that we don't get along with even though they all older because i don't deal with the young niggas they still immediate ops so why would i go out of my way to hate on the nigga that's an op from two hours away like come on bro you can't paint that picture anytime somebody say something about somebody who's considered more successful is hating and is clout chasing but y'all don't do that when charleston white is going at rappers and they respond to him y'all be like oh charleston won because he got them to respond or when whack is going at these people and they respond oh he won but when i do it a nigga with 14,000 subscribers go at a nigga with over 100. And I wasn't even going at him like that. I was talking to your cheerleaders, homie. And you felt some type of way. When I do it, it's cloud chasing. But this nigga's in my comments responding to multiple videos and multiple things and getting at people, homie. That's an L for you, bro, already. You, listen, one video, the China Mac versus Milk got what? 5,000 views. The other one that I did yesterday about his D-Riders, not even 4,000, 3,800, something like that. 800, 900, some views. It's not like this went viral and did a meal or 100,000 or something like that. Nigga, you pressed over that. These videos combined ain't even that 10,000 views. You know why? Because what I said hurt. The truth hurts, homie, and egos get bruised, homie. That's why you in my comments this morning responding. You told another nigga in my comments that all your homies is dead now as deep as seven four is all your homies is not dead or you said they all dead and they tweakers so everybody from seven four that's still outside and still banging that is 
a tweaker. That's what you're saying. Jay Heartless, all them little niggas, the little nigga that rap, all them, y'all tweakers. That's according to Milk. So, so seven four was pretty much faux tray. They smokers and they dead. That's what, according to Milk. This is why you don't go back over there, homie. I never said you wasn't from Hoover, homie. You can't point out not one part where I said you was from Hoover. I said, I feel like he from over there, but something ain't right with that situation. Never said you wasn't from your section. It's a bunch of niggas that's from their section that don't go back over there, homie. I'm just saying, homie, you you get on the internet with the extras and point out everybody's flaws. You got 7 in your name, 7.4 seconds to light up, 7.4 seconds to do anything, homie. Groove this, groove that, loke this. Your mentality is so banged out. And it's just like, well, why why we don't never, why is you never interacting with your homies? You more banged out than me. And I got niggas from 60 on down to 14 that'll vouch for me. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, bro. It has nothing to do with your content. I think your channel is cool, homie. I'm not subscribed. I do watch here and there because like I said, your, 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 your reactions be funny, homie. So there is no hate in my heart towards you, but you getting on here talking crazy. I could see why you probably got an issue coming in your section. You just called all them niggas dead in smokers. Nigga, 7-4 is deep, homie. Guaranteed, it's a gang of solid niggas still out there. They either smokers, tweakers, or bums to you. I'm just saying, bro, like you, you, you... You took that shit to a whole nother level over my opinion about some of the things that you do and some of the things that you say. Like I said, I've made videos about you in the past and I wasn't anti you. I wasn't necessarily for you, but I wasn't anti you, homie. I wasn't on there just like, oh, fuck, cuz he's a bitch and this and that. I didn't get at you no type of way, homie. I, I, I literally just pointed out things that I see and that must have touched you in a in, in, in a in a sensitive way private place you got your panties in a bunch pause and you want to wake up and you want to jump in my comments and get your your typing fingers on homie like i said i wasn't i wasn't looking to go back and forth with you this ain't no i'm not trying to beef with you or no other nigga on the internet homie but you on my comments talking crazy and i don't know if you got a video coming or not but nigga like i said you want to talk about thanks for the free promotion Nigga, you got way more subscribers than me. You should probably stop. If you say my name, you're going to be promoting my channel. Just leave it where it's at. Let my shit grow where it grow. But if you start making videos, you're only going to make people want to come over here. That's free promotion. How can I promote a nigga that got 110,000 subscribers? How can I promote you like I'm somebody in this YouTube world? Nigga, you got more of a name than me. So respond if you want to, homie. And while you're here, won't you go ahead and... And check out my conversation with the homie Snow Rock, nigga, a legendary homie, white, that stood down, hit them level fours and them threes and actually been in riots and all that and got cracking. And it's niggas of all affiliations, races, shapes and sizes in the comments vouching for being on the yard with him. And we ain't talking about fake accounts, homie. That's how it's supposed to be when you from something that you're the minority in. If you had been on the yard, we don't know if you would have folded, homie. We have no idea. You caught that one case and you never went back. Clearly, you got scared straight, which is a good thing. I'm not saying for you to be a career criminal. I'm just saying, homie, that's how it's supposed to be done. Go watch that and see how it's really supposed to be done and see how much love he get even from adversaries who would have been trying to take his head off behind the, the wall, giving him props. Go see that before you get on this internet talking like you some big high power fucking gang member, homie. I never said I was outside. I never said I was active, nigga. I just pointed out some flaws because you sitting here always poking at everybody else talking about what they do, what they should do, what's Gilligan, what's Goofy, what's Clown. A nigga from 74 who don't never go to 74th Street is clownish to me. I'm not saying you got to hang out all day. And I know somebody, you probably going to see this. I feel like you already seen some of my shit before anyways, homie. But even if you haven't, that's cool. You've seen it now. Go check the homie Snow Rock out, homie, so you can see how it's really done. You want to talk about this little weak-ass time when some six woods rushed you 
on the roof of the LA County jail, nigga, and then y'all just beat the shit out of them because y'all had the numbers. To me, you got to give them props for being outnumbered in the LA County jail and still standing on what they believed in and rushing y'all, knowing that they was finna get packed out. Even you said that y'all was switching off on them. That's how many it was of y'all against them, and they still got off on you, homie. It's not a W for you. You might as well have rushed them niggas off top. You seen them looking how they was looking. You should have just got cracking, homie. That's what my homie used to do when he got to the yard. Nigga, who's the shot caller? Who I need to holler at, nigga, and get cracking. Nigga, all facts, not fabricated. Not one person in that comment section is saying he lying. He putting extras on it. He got rolled off the yard. Not one nigga, but you keep telling this little weak ass story like that means something, homie. I don't got no problem with you, homie. Do your thing. But please stay out my comments and in 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 if you're not gonna come correct, don't come at all, homie. Straight up. You speaking on my city, nigga. You ain't never been to my city. You ain't never that's another thing. He gonna say I never been around no Hoovers. Nigga, I've been to the yard. I've been to the pen. What are you talking about? You ain't been nowhere. You ain't been nowhere but your hood and your kitchen and your fucking balcony, bro. Like, come on, bro. Don't, don't, don't play over here. This ain't it for you. Don't do that. Like I said, go check my story out. My conversation with the homie Snow Rock, a real stomp down homie who was up against it in them early nineties and them two thousands, homie, who hit every yard, nigga, and stood tall. And like I said, you could read the comments. You see niggas that was in there, LA niggas too. Like, yeah, yeah, he really, yeah. Come on, homie. Don't, don't, don't play with my city. Don't play with me, nigga. Go find somebody else to play with, bro. Straight the fuck up. Hoodie from the hood, your friend from that big old end, and I'm out.